When Jesus left the joys of heaven and came to this earth, he came with a main purpose, that being to seek and to save that which was lost. The way that he did this was through proclaiming the word of God. And today I would like to share some things with you that we see that are unique about the sermons that Jesus presented. First, we see that Jesus began preaching at a very young age. He was a preacher as an adolescent. The Bible describes a time when Jesus was 12 years old and was found by his parents preaching in the temple to those who were adults. The Bible tells us when his parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, son, why have you treated us this way? Your father and I have, have been worried about you. Why? But Jesus replies, why were you searching for me? He said, didn't you know? that I'd be in my father's house, that I'd be about my father's business? Well, of course, at that point, they didn't understand what it was that he was saying to them. But this is the only story in the Gospels that we find about the time between Jesus' infancy and the beginning of his public ministry as he had grown to adulthood about the age of 30. The main teaching, though, of this passage from Luke is that Jesus recognized even at a young age the unique relationship that he had with God and that his mission was one that would require a devotion to God's purposes and that it would be so great that it would take precedence even over family ties. As he told his mother, he had to follow this calling. He had to be about his father's business. And this is the way that Luke sets the stage for Jesus' later ministry. Well, as I said, Jesus started preaching about the age of 30. And while Jesus was incredibly wise for his age, that earthly ministry did not begin until the age of 30. For this was seen as the age of spiritual maturity in Scripture and in the Jewish culture of the day. 30 was the age at which a man was fully recognized as a rabbi. But 30 was also the age at which the Levites entered into their work the age in which it was lawful for scribes to teach. And 30 is the age when the Jewish community felt like individuals were ready, they were mature enough for leadership. But the sermons that he began to preach, we see that they were intended to help people understand the gospel. Jesus often ministered through parables, and they required those who were listening to think. Jesus told parables to see if we really understand the message of the gospel. And the truth is, understanding the gospel is the beginning to a transformed life. And we find that each gospel is unique. They give a beautiful and complete picture of the Lord through their various writings. Mark is recognized as the gospel of the suffering Son of God. Matthew is recognized as the gospel of the Messiah. Luke is the gospel of the Savior of all people, and John is the gospel of the Son who reveals his Father. These writings may be different from the standpoint of who their authors are and the content that they present, but ultimately, when they all come together, they present to us a very important and complete picture of who Jesus was. Romans 1.16 says, For I'm not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Now from this, we know that the gospel is the power of God and present in every aspect of our lives. But one danger that many Christians face today is failing to get the gospel. If we don't get the gospel message, then that message won't translate to our hearts and our lives. But also we see that Jesus' sermons revolutionized the way that people saw things. God's people were always a wandering people. We see countless examples of people wandering. Well, this theme of wandering is also present in our lives today. And these biblical examples are traveling off-road. You know, we think about in Jesus' message, the prodigal son who left home and went into a world of sin, their brokenness caused them to wander away from God. However, through their stories, we learn some very important lessons, particularly about the presence of God. Now, there's a common misconception that those who wander 
are lost, but that isn't always the case. If you're restless, doubtful, or even questioning your faith, you can learn through this journey that not all who wander are lost. And there's a hope and a peace for those who are traveling about through this life trying to find their way. But as the prodigal son, when you come to yourself, you realize that there is a place to go in your father's house. Friends, there are many different things that we could look at in regard to the sermons of Jesus. We find the teachings there in regard to how to treat others, including even our enemies. We see that Jesus was not afraid to preach those sermons even to those who were in positions of authority. But ultimately, we find in the messages of Jesus a saving message. That if we will repent of our sins and submit to his will, if we will be baptized into Christ for the remission of our sins, then we can be saved. Friends, we want to thank you for joining us for our program today, and we pray that God blesses you with a wonderful day.